Hey everyone, and welcome to the week seven review, week eight preview. Uh, I, going solo today, as everyone might know, uh, Joel's feeling sick, he's down with the flu, so please uh, reach out to him, give him your best. Um, as always, I'm your commissioner, aka Mr. Modest, aka the champ, aka wearing a waddle waddle jersey or sweatshirt. It's actually one of the most comfiest crew necks that I've ever had. Um, if anybody would like to support the movement. Now, I know I'm wearing it just after a loss against the Niners last night, but don't worry. We're going to get there. We're young. Um, notice I got Waddle. Um, still not 100% sold on Tua. I might be in the lower portion of the Dolphins fans that I just have a question. I just have question marks. Like, if he didn't have two amazing receivers... Would he be doing well? And they got to him last night and something was just off. Uh, enough talking about the NFL. I apologize. I'm going to get right into the week seven review. Uh, well, the first matchup we'll do my matchup as always. Uh, it's going to be Phil beating me. Um, it was 8-5. Phil got a triple-double from Luka day one. Uh, so I knew it wasn't going to go well. I then continued to miss games from six separate players, and you're just not going to be able to win. I was able to keep it close, but even with all my ads and everything like that, I put up a good effort. But uh, yeah, shout out to Phil. That could be really big come playoff time. Um, Phil's team's pretty good. AD coming back to haunt me uh, uh, as much as he can. He is the number one player in fantasy thus far. Um, so shout out to Phil for taking the risk on him. If he stays healthy all year, you may be able to make the argument that Phil won that trade, but at the end of the day, it was just something that I wasn't w willing to risk. Can you believe it? My team, uh, didn't want to risk injury. So kind of got screwed on that one. Anyway, shout out to Phil showing up. Also proving my point, um, all last year he was losing games, you know, stuff like that. But I kept saying, I think next year when he gets his team, he's going to be competitive. Everybody watch out. And he's doing that. So I appreciate you backing me up on that, Phil. Phil moves to four and three. I moved to three and four, and I've lost four straight. I haven't lost four straight for like five, six years. Uh, it just keeps moving back the more... Uh, we lose. Good thing I'm not playing the number one team this week. Uh, next matchup is uh, definitely one that I I did get a little bit of a laugh out of. It was Matt at Adam. Now, the only reason why I want to bring this up first is, number one, Matt lost by one shot. We've all been there, lost by literally one shot. Um, oh, and Adam won in a tie. So remember all those arguments and debates about everything. You know what, Adam? If you feel that strongly about it, I'm happy to take this win from you and you can take my loss. Totally fine with me. I get your principle. I get where you're standing. But if you feel that way, go ahead and toss that win over here. Nobody wants to win in a tie. Come on. Come on. Good job, Matt. He or good job, Adam. He moves to five and two. Yes, he is in tie for second place. Uh, Matt moves to three and four. Matt, you're tied with me. Welcome to the bottom, bud. It's fun down here. Um, next matchup is Joel losing on the road to CJ. C's, CJ's team continues to put up numbers. Harden it was questionable for today. He's going to be back at some point this week. CJ is a juggernaut. Um, there's no way of getting around it if his players are there at the end of the season. We might CJ. We might see CJ just pull off this championship, and uh, he is the longest tenured player that has not won a championship. So uh, pressure pressure on him to close the door. But uh, things are looking really good, and um, Joel moves to two and four. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't have a lot. No, Joel is three and four. I apologize. I apparently just can't do simple math. 
Um, I don't really have a ton of feeling about Joel's team thus far. Uh, he has been injured. He's taken some chances. If they work out, it was announced today that Kawhi and Paul George are back. So that's going to be helpful for him. He is without Halliburton. Um, so we'll see what that's like moving forward. Joel, buddy, I hope you get better soon. Um, and CJ, good win. Next matchup, we've got Neiman at Kyle. Neiman started this matchup as the number one. He finishes this matchup as the number one, beating Kyle. Um, Kyle was without Cat, uh, non-contact injury. So uh, I just wish the big man best, uh, the best. Uh, Neiman continues to roll. Uh <sighs> Not a lot to say because I play him this week, and so I, I I don't have a ton to say about him other than he is number one again. It's six to it's he's six and one, and Kyle moves to four and three, which right now is not a bad record to have. Uh, the next matchup is Cody at Eric, the one and five versus one and five. Um, Eric wins that battle. Cody moves to one and six. Eric moves to two and five. So finally, after I've been yelling at Eric for a few weeks, comes out and gets that big W against Cody. Good job, Eric. Good job. Um, Cody continues to play while he's tanking. Um, last matchup we have here is Doug at Steven. Steven gets this win. I think it's pretty big for Steven here. He moves to three and three. Doug will move to two and five. The reason why I say it's big is Doug has been holding teams very, very close. And Steven has been doing the same. So I think that Steven getting this matchup uh, is going to be big. And especially if these two teams... Um, remain around the bottom trying to get into the playoffs. I'm not saying that they will. Uh, I'm just simply saying that it could be a helpful play-in uh, or at least matchup moving forward for playoffs. Uh, week 8, we will start with the champs matchup. Um, good job to everybody last week. Um, not a whole lot to say. Uh, I'll just get right into next week. I'm not trying to keep this too long. Um, week eight, we've got Modest at Neiman. Like I was alluding to earlier, uh, Neiman is six and one. I'm three and four. I'd really love to have this matchup. Paul George is playing, but uh, we still don't know anything about Cade Cunningham. Um, and teams haven't been able to beat him up to this point. I, ha I still have a ton of injuries. I'm hoping that maybe he catch a few injuries and we'll see what happens since I'm the home team. But uh, in all likeliness, I'm going to have to take Neiman until I am healthy. Whenever that's going to be, losing five in a row after starting 3-0 and is going to be a real bummer for me. But I don't know what else to do. I'm trying my hardest on the wire. There's just not a whole lot you can do and it's, it's frustrating. But hey... I'll keep going on. Uh, next matchup is Kyle at Matt. Um, Kyle is four and three. Matt is three and four. This is going to be another one of those matchups that I think if you're going to get into the playoffs or if you're two border teams, um, chances are this is going to be a big matchup just given how close the records are. Um, Kyle doesn't have Matt, but he did okay against Neiman. Um, man, I really, I really don't want Matt to win because he has the same record as me. So I'm going to pick Kyle. I don't know why I'm going to pick Kyle. He doesn't have Cat, like I said. Um, but Matt doesn't have Jaw either, at least for the first game. I believe he was ruled out already. Um, so I'm going to, uh, I'm going to pick Kyle, uh, just being completely after my own interests. Um, uh, next matchup is CJ at Phil. Well, Phil, it's time to put up or shut up. You've been putting on a little show for everybody. CJ has a very good team. Might get Harden back this week. Uh, Davis is rolling. This is going to be an interesting matchup to see. I don't know if CJ is going to get a triple-double um, from Harden or Curry or anything like that, 
They might limit Harden as they bring him back. Trust me, I had him. They'll limit him if they have to. Um, Phil, can lightning strike twice with the triple-double from Luka? It's possible. I mean, he's been putting them up. Um, can AD continue to perform at that number one level? I am going to take CJ here. I'm going to take CJ. I think Phil, well, he did beat me. Um, I was able to keep up with him with a light cycle and a ton of injured players. I think CJ is going to be able to put a, a little whooping on him, if you will. Um, CJ is tied currently with Adam at second place. So every one of these games becomes very important for CJ and Adam. Adam's matchup is against Cody this week. Uh, I guess I'll just cover that one real quick. Um, Adam's going to win. Uh, Steven and Joel is this week. We had a CJ and Joel last week. Now we have Steven and Joel. Is Middleton going to come back? Is he already back? I don't think so. Hold on. Now I've got to look. See, this is exactly why I need to have a co-host. Because then if I have to look at something... You guys got to wait and sit there and be like, uh, what's this man doing? Um, well, I'm, well, I'm looking that up. We've got Eric and Doug is the last matchup, both two and five. I think Doug wins this matchup at home. Um, Eric, hell of a winning streak for you. Uh, outside of that, I don't have a ton to say about that matchup. Doug tries to stay in the playoff race at two and five. So... We'll see what happens. If he wins, he's going to make it right into the mix. He might have the same record as I do. I'm not talking shit on Doug, and I'm not talking shit on Eric, because if either one of them win and I lose to Neiman, we're going to have the same record. So I got to be at least a little bit positive for both of these teams, but I am going to take Doug. Uh, Halliburton is out for Joel as well. That's important to note. Siaka Middleton is back. See, I didn't even pay attention. He played December 2nd, uh, 27 minutes. So it looks like Middleton's back. Kawhi's back. Herb Jones is still out. Man, this one is quite interesting. I think that there's a problem with Trey Young. No, no, hold on. Yeah, both are fairly healthy. This will be interesting on the wire. I guess it just matters how long Halliburton's out because if Halliburton's out, that greatly affects Stevens' team who does have an okay assist game going on. I'm going to take Joel because he's the home team. I'm going to take Joel because he's the home team. No, you know what? I'm switching. I'm switching it. I picked against Matt because he has the same record as me. I'm picking against Joel because he has the same record as me. I'm going with Steven. Let's go, Steven Thornhill. You win, and then uh, Matt can lose to Kyle, and then we'll all have the same record because I'm probably losing anyway. And this is a good spot for Steven to move up and get that fifth win. I th think... It's not impossible. I like it. I like it. I like my picks this week. Neiman, Kyle, CJ, Adam, Steven, and Doug. If you didn't hear your name, I think you're going to lose. Um, I guess that's it. I'm sorry for a lot of ums on this one. I could feel myself doing it throughout the video. It's hard for me to fill the space, and I'm used to having Joel at least like put in comments so I don't have to go to my next topic and think about it. So I do apologize. The quality wasn't as good today. Uh, if I have to do one next week, I will be more prepared for this. Um, outside of that, good luck to everybody. And I really hope that I can upset Neiman. It would certainly brighten my uh, whole week. Uh, go Miami Dolphins. Going to make it the playoffs this year, I think. I think. Uh, and shout out to everybody. Uh, oh, your kind words. Uh, Kyle uh, in the messenger. I just want you to know that when you said that Joel wasn't the reason that you guys clicked the play button, that that made me feel really good, man. So honestly, thank you for that. Thank you for everybody that reached out about 
uh, the baby that's being expected. It's clear that I haven't been getting a lot of sleep, uh, mainly because I, uh, I, I feel like it's sympathy. Kelsey's been having some trouble sleeping, which is no surprise whatsoever. Um, uh, but I have no, I know I have no room to talk or anything like that, but that does kind of explain a little bit of my exhaustion. Outside of that, like I said, thank you guys. Um, you guys are always there for me, and I really appreciate that. I will see you next week. Good luck to everybody and your champ and your commissioner. Waddle, waddle out.